everybody, it's Audrey from the Crafty Card Cupcake .com. It's been a little long day of crafting here in our household. And um, the first thing I want to share with you tonight is my mini album that I made, or finished rather today, for my partner Bev on minialbumscraps.ning.com. And we were, we were in a mini album swap together. And the paper that I used was the out of print basic gray. And pretty much both of us said we didn't care anything goes, you know, just make something pretty. And so Bev and I um, just made something made pretty. something pretty for each other. Um, I also used the template from Laura with Follow the Paper Trail, and I think it's called the Pickpocket Mini. I'm not sure, um, but anyways, that's what I used. So on the front cover. I have some really pretty trims, an organza butterfly, two um, wild orchid craft flowers, a couple chiffon flowers, some bead sprays, a little cameo. On the side, I took a paper clip and I tied some ribbon on it. And then one of these little seven gypsies, kind of like a chandelier drop. Okay. So you open it up like this, and there's a pocket here with three tags. And I did these tags just using a one inch circle punch, and these are the Dollar um, Studio 112 stamps from Joann's. And then the back is blank, so she could add another photo. Or journal with a white gel pen, I thought that would look really cool. Oh, beautiful. And then a fabric flower here that I just put with a brad. Please everybody, make comments. Another large photo mat here. And then this pulls out for a double-sided photo mat with a tab. Kind of cute. Whoops. Uh-oh, it's broken. It's not broken. Sorry I just everybody. Have to. This one's broken. Just have apologize. to find this, okay. Oh, it's broken. Okay. Here oh, we go. it's saved. Um, on this page, we have vertical pockets. There's two of them. One here that has a photo mat. And then this one. And I used flowers as the pulls. I just love this paper. Um, I used basically what I had left over from my bucket list mini album. Then this flaps open for another large photo mat. You can tuck a photo behind here. And here's another pocket with a double-sided photo mat. It's kind of like the covert op. Yes. All these hidden pockets in here. Lots of hidden pockets. Um, these are diagonal pockets, and these are three by three little mats that I use the flowers for. Three of those. Wait a second. Did you say that is bling? It's oh, not really bling. I think it's bling. A little silver dot. Bling bling. Um, here's a space for some photo. Another one and a large photo mat here. And I just put this sticker. She could write a title. And here is another photo mat, double sided in white, and that'll fit a nice three by five photo. Did you title this mini? I did not come up with a title. Hmm. Because I didn't know what she wanted to put in it. Covert ops. Um, some more 3x3 three three, um, square um, mats. I'm still trying to figure out why he thinks it'd be called covert ops. Well, all the hidden pockets and hidden this, you know, it's like the Navy SEALs, covert operations. Okay. Um, I'll make you one called that. Okay. All right. I'll, then sh I'll shut up, everybody. We I have this little fold out here. Another oh, pocket. Covert ops. Prime example. Okay. These are more vertical pockets with two mats with the flowers. And the black the back is blank. And here again. You are my sunshine sticker. And another photo mat comes out. And then in the back, I used another big fabric flower pocket. Three more of the same kind of photo mats as the very first page. 
and I kept the embellishing kind of light or flat rather because first of all the paper is so beautiful and second of all I didn't want it to be too chunky um, and then the back I used this paper which is another of my favorites from the line and some of the rosette trim here and then this is a stamp from the Cat's Life Press uh, website. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. And it's a mini book stamp. So I stamped it and it says mini book. It is the little things that make life worthwhile by, and I put Audrey Hannaford 2011, and just punched it out with my two inch scallop circle punch. So I put that on there. And that is her completed mini album. So she can put a title up here. I didn't know what to call it for her, or she may just want to leave it blank. Um, but this will be going out in the mail to Bev tomorrow. So thanks, Bev, for swapping. And this was really fun. So everybody go out to minialbumscraps.ning.com and check it out. Have a great day. Bye.